All right, everyone. Well, a uh, stubborn cloud deck pushing off of Lake Erie, allowing things to look like the middle of winter out there and feel like the middle of winter too. Take a look at these clouds overcast in Columbiana. I don't know, Groover Roofing and Siding Traffic Camera. Take a look at those temperatures in the low 30s out there at the traffic circle. And we have a breeze out of the north with the uh, ice concentration that is lacking over Lake Erie which means some lake effect snow showers are beginning to pop up all because of this a lower level area of high pressure. That of course is allowing for that northern breeze to sweep down. We're picking that moisture up off of the lake and that's causing clouds to move in and lake effect snow showers to move in as well. No snowflakes for us here unless uh, maybe the northern uh, most portions of our viewing area. That's probably the exception of who will see those uh, stubborn lake effect snow showers. That's really all about it though. Overall though, like I said, higher pressure pressure at the lower levels of the atmosphere and the upper levels of the atmosphere an area of low pressure. So an upper level lower trough continuing to dig across the Great Lakes and across the Northeast. When I say it's digging, I mean it's strengthening. So we'll continue to see that movement off to the east. Look at some of these temperatures. You can clearly see where that low and area, low pressure and high pressure are across our national map. There's that ridge or area of high pressure aloft across uh, much of the southern states. There's that low with temperatures in the low 30s at the airport. Across our five county viewing area, temperatures very similar. Even some upper 20s in northern Trumbull and Mercer County. Take a look at these numbers in comparison to what we felt yesterday. I posted this on my Facebook page yesterday. I said uh, we're going to see these numbers tomorrow, but they're going to be a, there's going to be a negative sign in front of that, and that's coming to fruition. 17 degrees cooler than this time yesterday, and how about that breeze off the lake? 20 mile per hour sustained winds in Cleveland, 16 here at home. And that's making things feel like the low 20s across our viewing area and across the region. No better than about 33 for the high today as we dip into tonight. 617 the sunset and we'll fall back into the upper teens. Certainly feeling like early February out there. Now I know we had a sunny forecast for tomorrow, but I think with the latest modeling and the way that the winds are projected, I'm expecting more of a partly sunny to mostly cloudy uh, day for tomorrow. We are going to start off a little on the sunny side, though. I think there's going to be some clearing late tonight low 20s to upper teens as we head into the earliest parts of the morning. But tomorrow, an equally cold day. We're going to stay in the low 30s, no better than about 33 or 34 across the area. And I think there's a few more clouds than what our future cast here is projecting. So not going to be a cloudy day. I think we'll see a little bit of sunshine, but uh, overall is going to uh, feature a few more clouds. A lot of people asking about the snow, and we'll talk about this in the next half hour. Yeah, we still have a chance to see uh, see a few more snowflakes out there, but the next seven days not featuring any precipitation, Jen. And as we head to the 10 to 14 day outlook, looks like a little rain will mix in. So the first half of March is going to be snow free. Still, though, you saw that 30 year average of April 8th. That's our last measurable snowfall. So still have a few more days uh, after this seven day forecast before we can absolutely say we're done with the snow 100%. But a real nice seven day forecast here, especially next week.